Would you buy one of this man's kidneys? He may not look like a lifesaver, but four years ago, he says he sold one of his so a total stranger would have the chance to live. They said uh, I'd be uh, compensated, such and such. I said, uh, great, let's go. He's Nick Rosen, an Israeli with a U.S. passport, and he still bears the scar from the surgery, which he says he got more than $20,000 for. I saw it out in the paper. Since I was willing to do this, I responded, and that's how it all started. Where it ended, according to Rosen, was here in New York's Mount Sinai Hospital, where one of his kidneys was transplanted into a man he had met just days before. Nobody's going to tell me about my body, what's legal and what's not legal. To be sure, buying and selling organs is illegal in the U.S. and nearly every other country, too. He says they got around it by simply telling doctors they were cousins. Mount Sinai officials have so far not responded to a request to discuss this case. They issued a statement explaining that donors are screened to ensure that no illegal or unethical motives are involved. It's not clear how many organ donors are paid in the U.S., but it's clear that some are. Just last month, a New York man was arrested in a corruption sting, accused of arranging the sale of a kidney for as much as $160,000. Once again, raising the debate in the U.S. over whether it's time to lift the ban and let the government reward donors. The idea of compensating uh, kidney donors is to get more kidneys. She says it may be the only way to help the tens of thousands who need them. We can't rely on altruism. It is not enough. We've been doing it for a quarter of a century. There have never been enough organs, and it gets worse every year. Still others say this is not the business government or anyone should be getting into. I think the cons do outweigh the pros. Art Kaplan is one of the country's leading bioethicists. He says there are a number of ethical reasons against allowing people to sell their organs. Chief among them is that it would take advantage of the poor. We've got a lot of people who would do this who are desperately poor, and I think it's exploitation. Nancy Shepard Hughes is also an expert in the field and says donors, even in legitimate cases, are often left with psychological problems, and she says that includes Rosen himself. The day after he gave the kidney, he felt taken. He felt that uh, he was pretty much treated like discardable goods, like a piece of meat. Rosen, though, says he has no regrets and adds he doesn't worry about ever facing charges. They would look like idiots and I'd be a mother. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.